Welcome back everyone, my name is Sabin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about screen recording softwares. Now the moment you think about making a e-learning course or any online course, you need certain things, right? You need a camera, we have talked about that. You need a microphone for a good audio. And sometimes you also want to record your screen. In fact, when you teach programming, when you teach, let's say, the flow on PPT, of course you want to share your screen. Now, how will you do that? Of course, you need a software which will record your screen. And there are certain things you have to take care of, like frame rate, then the quality of the resolution you are recording. Because sometimes when you want to record the screen, the laptop which we are using is of 720p. And you are expecting that the video you will get is 1080p. So that's one thing you have to consider. So when you record your screen, you have to make sure that your physical screen is of 1080p, okay? Uh, so that you can record in that particular format. Uh, so I'm talking about full HD and HD. So if your laptop is just HD, the recording will also be HD. So if you want to record full HD now, what you will do? So you will have your laptop and you have to buy a external monitor. Don't buy a new laptop for that. You can buy external monitor. Of course, now most of the external monitor you buy, uh, even a cheap one will be full HD so that you can record in that particular screen. That's what I did with my machine. So one of my machine here, which is not a full HD screen, but still we use a computer screen or a, what you say, external monitor to record, record the videos. Okay, so that's one, there, there, are, there are certain things you have to remember. Of course, the moment you start working on this stuff, you'll understand more. But now let's focus on the softwares which you can use. Now, the moment you think about recording this, recording this screen, maybe you also want to edit them. But then we'll talk about editing softwares later when we, because an edit, editing software will not just edit this screen, it will also edit your face, so that's a different topic. But in this video, let's focus on screen recording softwares. There are certain free softwares and paid softwares available. Now, which one to go for? Of course, when you are paying for a software, it will be good, of course, and that's what they are charging you. When price goes up, the number of features goes up, but the question is, will you use all the features? Just, you just want to record your screen, right? So, of course, basic features will do for you. So, let's talk about the free softwares first. There are a lot of free softwares available when you talk about screen recording, but then uh, let me give you my experience. I started my journey with Cam Studio. Now Cam Studio is an awesome software with using which you can record your screen and that too is free. Now it is available for Windows, so if you're using a Windows machine, you can surely use Cam Studio. It, it does give you a lot of options about the resolution, the frame rate. Uh, you can choose that properly and you can record your screen. So if you watch my earlier videos, you know, Java videos, uh, Cisco Packet Tracer, all those have been recorded with the help of Cam Studio. The next one, which I have not used much, but then one of my friends is using a lot, and that is OBS Studio. Now, OBS is not just for recording screen, you can also use it for live streaming. So let's say if you want to go live on a different platform and you want to share your screen, uh, you can use OBS. In fact, you can also edit the video or you can have some, you know, text, some mark you while going live. So that's, that's an awesome software you can use. The only thing is I've never used OBS, uh, not for screen recording and not for live streaming, but the reviews which I heard from my friend is awesome. So you can go for OBS or you can go for Cam Studio. Both are free and it works. So these two are free software which you can use. But what about Mac? So for Mac, we have this free software available and that too, it is a by default software available in Mac, which is QuickTime Player. That's right. So using QuickTime Player, you can record your screen. That's what I did when I bought my first MacBook because uh, moving from Windows to Mac, yes, there are software shifts. You cannot use certain softwares from Windows in Mac. So I was supposed to search for a good software and that's where I came across QuickTime Player. So you can just right click on your QuickTime time player in the in the dock and it will give you option of screen recording uh, you can use that yes it works what if you want to go for another software because see when you say screen recording software some of them also provide you editing option that's where you can go for screen flow so you have good time player and screen flow now that's that's your free software what you want to go for paid one the moment you say paid software it also provides you feature for editing purpose, right? So you can use, you can do both. Record the screen and also edit them. Yes, for editing software, we can use Final Cut Pro, we can use Adobe Premiere, but then you have to pay huge amount of money for that. Let's go for cheaper options. 
The first option you have is Screencast O Matic. Now, it's an amazing software. It's also available for free. There, there are certain limitations. You can just go to their website and you can find a free software which provides you some features. But if you want to get all the features, you can go for paid version. The amazing thing is the cost for that software is lesser than any of the available softwares there. So you can try that out. But again, uh, it's, it's best to start with free. The moment you feel comfortable with the software, the moment you feel you are going for a, you are having a big plan of recording softwares, of course, I, I recommend you to go for paid softwares. That's what I'm doing now. So here we are using Camtasia. Now Camtasia is an amazing software for recording screen for editing purpose as well. Now, when you say editing, you know, if you have seen all my Python videos, they have been edited with the help of Camtasia. Yes, now we are moving towards some amazing software like Premiere Pro, maybe we'll also try Final Cut Pro, but that's a future thing. But now if you talk about all the videos which we have made, not just only for YouTube, but also for some corporate, maybe for some uh, private use, uh, we have done with the help of Cam Studio, ScreenFlow, QuickTime Player, and Camtasia, and all this work amazing. So try them out. So start with the free software. Don't have to, you don't have to buy uh, softwares on day one. So start with free one, get used to it, get used to the, uh, the entire environment of making videos. And then you can think about buying a software. So if you want, really want to invest, I would say you can go for Camtasia. Or if you want to go for huge invest, investment, you can go for Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro if you're using Mac. So that's about screen recording softwares. If you have any more questions on this, let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.